Welcome to episode 18 of our Mario game in Java tutorial. Last episode we implemented a camera that followed our player into our game. This episode we're going to be working on level design. That's right, we're going to be making our own levels. Now I'm going to show you two ways I know how you can make levels. So let me just go into my handler class. You can sort of do what I did here in this create level method. You can do a for loop and then add it all in but the only problem is, this will take a long time, especially when we have a lot more objects like um, no, mushrooms, goombas, enemies, coins, you know, things like that. This is going to take forever and ever to just type it all in and yeah, it's just very inefficient. Or, so let's say I can just sort of paint out my level here, you know, there's a cliff and maybe there's a few blocks here. And yeah, let's say this is my level. Well, we want that level we just drew to be a level in our game. And in this episode, fortunately, that's what we're going to do. We're going to program something that can convert pretty much a pixel in, into a block into our game. And that's pretty cool. So before we create a level where we actually need to write the code for it. So in this public void create level method, we're going to delete everything in it. Yep. But in the parameters, we're going to type buffet image level and we're going to create some variables just import buffet image sorry if you can hear background noise by the way my laptop's still broken so we're going to type int width is equal to level dot get width oh my bad get width and this pretty much gets the width of our buffet image in pixels and we're going to do the same for height int height is equal to level dot get height now we're going to make a for loop for int y is equal to zero y is less than height y plus plus now in our for loop we're going to create another for loop right inside of our for loop for int x is equal to zero x is less than width x plus plus this is how it's how it's going to work. So what our for loop is going to do is going to start, let's say this is the very, this pixel is the very top of our image and then it's going to start at this y coordinate, then it'll scan through the whole width of our image, then it'll go to the next y, go to the next level, yep, then do the same thing over and over again. Hopefully you get that now, I'm trying to explain in the best way possible, but yeah anyway, I'm going to type int pixel is equal to level dot get rgb and we need to specify the pixel it wants to get the red green blue value of and of course that will be x and y so what we're about to do here may seem a little complex but we're just going to type it then i'll explain it all to you guys so we're going to type int red is equal to pixel then these little right arrow signs 16 and remember to make that in brackets a single and sign 0x ff and we're going to do the same for green and blue all right so we'll change that to green and why we're doing this is because we want to get the full red value of each pixel yeah the full green value of each pixel and the full blue value of each pixel so in green we're going to change 16 to 8 and uh, we're going to change uh, we're going to change blue to just pixel not not any of these things, just leave it as pixel. Now, I'm not exactly sure what this and sign means. It has to do with a uh, byte operation, but I actually have no idea what it really means. I don't want to give wrong information to you guys. If you're wondering what it means, then just uh, look it up. So yeah, anyway, just write this code. Now, I'm going to type if red is equal to zero and blue, oh sorry, and green is equal to zero and blue is equal to zero then we're going to add tile new wall then we're going to type y by uh 
what's the width of our objects? 64. Not my bad. So it's going to be y. Sorry, my bad. I'm stuffing up so bad. X by 64. Y by 64. Then the width and height will obviously be 64. ID wall. And yeah. What? Oh yeah, we before our height we need to add true because a wall is a solid object, then this because we're referring to the handler and this parameter of course needs to be a handler. Now we're gonna type if red is equal to zero and and green is equal to zero and blue is equal to two fifty five, so this will be a completely blue pixel. And in case you didn't know uh, this will be a completely black pixel. So add entity new player. Then yeah, just do what we did. Pretty much just do what we did for our wall. Import player. Oh, we need to remove this. All right. This code here will pretty much scan the whole image and if one of the pixels red green blue value equals to zero zero and zero then we'll add a tile then we'll add a wall where the pixel was in our image so let's say if I put a pixel here this is going to be an actual block at about the same coordinates just multiplied by 64 as you can see yeah so that's pretty cool so what I'm going to do is that we can start making our actual level so just remember zero zero it's the very top so I'm just gonna make a quick little level here kind of like what I made before export that as level.png and I'm going to go into our res folder and uh, click export alright and now we're going to click on our project folder and hit F5 to refresh now if we look at our rest folder, our level.png is here. Now we're going to create a buffered image which will actually be our level. So I'm going to type private buffered image image is equal to a new buffered image. Oops, my bad. Actually just write buffered image image. Then in here we're going to type image is equal to image io.read get class dot get read you guys might remember this from when we were creating our sprites and sprite sheets things like that so import image io actually we need in our get resource we're going to type slash level dot png because remember it's very important to put a slash at the start of our uh, path and uh, we're just going to hover over and click surround with try and catch remove the comments and there we go now we're going to type handler dot create level image so I forgot something I forgot to add a player now there we go it's pretty much uh, fully blue our player all right so actually I need to add a wall my bad I'm just gonna quickly add a wall here okay Right, and add our player here. See, I'm just going to export it again. Refresh. And now, if we run our game, there you go. As you can see, we have created our level. These are the little platforms we created. And uh, here's that little cliff. Now that I think about it, we should probably add a dirt block because then this grass thing looks kind of weird. So, yeah, we should pretty much, I think. I'll just quickly add a dirt block in the next episode or something. So, yeah, I'm going to wrap up this episode here. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. If your friend is interested in learning how to make a game in Java, then please send them this tutorial. I would really help it. So don't forget to subscribe, like the video, favorite, all that stuff. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Bye.